we are going to discuss about pediatric frame selection dispensing spectacles to kids is always a very challenging and a satisfying experience we need to understand that spectacles are prescribed to children not only to correct refractive errors but also to manage certain binocular vision anomalies like strabismus and amblyopia one important consideration is that the children are an excellent practice builder uh, when we say that that children are excellent practice builder what it means is that if if you have done a great job while dispensing a spectacle frame to a child and the child is very happy about the entire job that you have done or the parent is highly impressed or the guardian is highly impressed about the entire spectacle dispensing that you have done for the child you have to be rest assured that the entire family is going to be your client forever so children are an excellent practice builder everybody is very sensitive and emotional about the child in their family so when you do a great job for the child of the family you make sure that the entire family is going to be your client forever one more important part an aspect of dispensing spectacles to children is that children tend to neglect many things which means that if you have done an error from your part as a dispensing optician or an optometrist it is very rare that the child may come up to you and pinpoint the technical problem and may explain the difficulties that the child may have while wearing the glasses children tend to neglect things hence it is an onus and a responsibility on you as a practitioner to make sure that very little error is done while dispensing spectacles or while selecting spectacle frames for children one of the most important criteria for frame selection of children is the material of the frame material of the frame and for simplicity sake it has always been advised and prescribed that children should wear plastic frames that is what we follow children should wear plastic frames we try and avoid metal frames to be dispensed to children plastic frames with full eye wire construction frame constructions like rimless or nylon cord supra frames are avoided for children always prefer full eye wire plastic frames for children the second important criteria while dispensing or selecting spectacle frames for children is to select frames with spring hinges a plastic frame with a spring hinge is an ideal frame for a child a spring hinge makes it easier for the child to remove the frame easily and again wear it so always consider a frame for a child with a spring hinge the third important criteria for frame selection in children has to be the frame size and this important criteria is often neglected by most practitioners and most dispensing opticians frame size is a very very important criteria while selecting frames often it is noticed that children are dispensed with frames which are larger in size or at times even smaller in size than the required size and this is a common mistake that is done by most dispensing personnel and the major reason why this mistake is done is is possibly because of lack of availability of the correct size of the frames for children most opticians or most dispensing personnels do not have a complete stock of correct size for children into their shop which is why they end up dispensing spectacle frames which are at times larger in size or at times which are not meant for children hence it is very necessary that frame selection according to the frame size has to be done 
so if a child requires a size of 40 you make sure that you dispense a frame of an eye size 40 and not 42 or 44 the next important criteria is bridge type and the best bridge type that has been uh, practiced over the period of time is a modified saddle bridge a modified saddle bridge or a strap bridge is considered to be one of the best bridges for uh, selecting frames for children the other important criteria for frame selection is temples and for convenience sake the temple type should be either skull temple or as prescribed in the notebooks or the textbook of dispensing the riding bow temple type now one important point to be noted while dispensing frames or selecting the temple type or selecting a frame for the child is to make sure that the position of the bend should be appropriately given to the frame and there is a method to which it can be altered you have to make sure that the bend should be slightly beyond the crotch of the ear the last and a very important part while selecting frame is the vertex distance the way the frame sits on the child's face should be such that it should be as close as possible to the eyes but you should make sure that the eyelashes do not rub the lens so smaller the vertex distance is always better so in short if you have to revise you have to make sure that the the material should be plastic it should be a full eye wired frame it should have spring hinges it should uh, be correct in size it should not be larger or smaller in size the bridge type should be a modified saddle bridge or a strap bridge the temple should be a skull temple or a riding bow temple you make sure that the positioning of the bend of the temple is appropriately given and marked the vertex distance should be minimal one can select fancy frames because children love to wear colored frames or frames with animated characters is what they love to wear so it is absolutely allowed there are many uh, fancy frame varieties available in the market but one has to make sure that these fancy frame varieties meet the criteria uh, which are uh, the conventional criteria for selecting frames thank you very much